I'm Grant. This is Purpose Failed Well. Four fifths of it. There's Lewis the drummer, John the bassist, and Gerard the guitarist. He's the one that started it all. He, I don't know, he, just said he, he made up a name and then decided to get a band together. He asked me because he knew I was a drummer, I've been in bands before. Then he heard John was playing bass, he got him in. But we also have Johnny, as another guitarist we have that plays now again. We got him in first and we found out he was not in a band anymore, we got him in. We're a live band. Oh Absolutely. yeah. Just, oh yeah. <laughs> And we have such songs on MySpace. Uh, we just have to decide when we want to record a proper EP. We just want to say, yeah. We're just picking a studio and stuff. And yeah. saving up money. Yeah. I'm Alan, I'm the drummer. I'm Ryan, I'm the guitarist and singer. And I'm Charlie, I play the bass and I sing as well. We started about a year ago, uh, it was at the Canvas Baron Festival, uh, what was it, Woodstock? Woodstock? Big Woodstock. We started off with covers, we moved on to our own style. We can't pinpoint it, no. but we like it. Kind of rock, kind of Foo Fighters-esque. We find hard, Sterling is a hard place to develop for a band. We find, when you start off, we just feel that uh, when you start off, it's always the best place for a band to be in Stirling to start off if you know a lot of people because they'll come to your gigs and so on. Then it kind of wears off and you have to move around, you have to leave Stirling. <laughs> I'm another Ross and I play bass and vocals. And I'm Stephen and I play uh, drums. <laughs> and uh, Andy <laughs> plays the drums. Yeah. Uh, and we're Idiot Cut from Falkirk. I'm so in love with being in love that I'm blind. I'm so divided to think that's your mind. I'm safe and blessed with our sex as it wonders if you really care. Woo! Influences, the original influences we started the band would be like Biffy Clyro, the three of us are pretty much obsessed. And uh, at the time as well, I think it was the kind of the big electronic thing with Enter Shikari at the time, but that really faded away and then it, it just it became like more bands like The Police, uh, Idle World, Death Cure, Cup. even. 
Aye. Just more kind of like natural kind of organic bands. Poppy, rock kind of bands. And we're, we're looking to get, get a bit more money behind us and go into the studio record. Kind of Demo on like. a few tracks yeah. um, later this month for like a five track EP at the end of in November. So. In May, so we've got that to look, we've got that to look forward to. Yeah. So just getting the money, got, getting the yeah. songs tight. And just really have something, I kind of finish that record that we can kind of Mm-hmm. People, more people listen to our songs and that because right now I've got loads of recordings from different patches as opposed to a, a, can, a kind of concise piece of work so yeah. they're good to get that done so that'll be on the MySpace as well forward slash idiot cut <laughs> 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 Red and I'm Jordan. I'm Callum. I play guitar and this man's a yeah, of course, yeah, the singer. Got a heavenly voice. I try. we left high school we bought a van <laughs> just because like, we knew exactly what we wanted to do when we left school was just to get out there and play our music to everyone because we had such a good time playing live that we just kind of wanted to do it all the time so mm-hmm. we just as soon as we left high school we hit the road and it, we've just been a touring band ever since because yeah. it's it's all about playing live for us so yeah we, we kind of started like kind of what this place does like Tobiff does for a lot of young bands and yeah. it's just like yeah it's just like it's cool to see like places like this come up and give young bands opportunities. Exactly, the exact same thing that happened to us when we first started. Yeah, yeah, definitely. We are wild men of the night, I guess you could say, when it comes to our live performance. We just. Uh, I, I I don't even know what the hell I do on stage yeah, to think right. about it until we like look back on video and you go, "That's what the hell am I, I do?" <laughs> I just really let my hair down when it comes to <laughs> live performances. And he can say that these days. Yeah. <laughs> no, when it comes to live, man, like, you know, when we were kids, we had, like, a whole bunch of just kind of, like, aggression and everything, and that's, it just came down to, like, oh, man, I just can't wait to play live, I'm just gonna, like, throw my guitar up in the air, it's gonna be so crazy, and, now and we, like, now it, try at least yeah, now make it, ourselves sound, <laughs> yeah, now like we try a little bit harder to sound better, so we don't sound like crap, but, um, I think, you know, there's just an energy when you get up on that stage and there's people watching you and you're playing a song that you really dig, you know, it just, it kind of, I, I couldn't stand still if I wanted to, like, I just, uh, you know, the music totally carries, I think, our energy and, you know, our we write honest music about, like, you know, just everything that we, that happens to us in our lives and I think playing live is a, is just, it's an easy way to escape sort of thing, so it, it all, it all comes out when we play live, I guess. We go wild, do some turkey dances. Yeah, um, we have our first, our debut album, which is out in October. October. October nineteenth. It's yes. called Leaving Everything Behind. It'll be out on Dark City Records. So. Uh, no, so watch we have out a, for that. our single that we're releasing called Home Run Nineteen Ninety Seven. That's going to be like the start of October. So. Yeah. Keep eyes and ears open for that. That'd yeah. be awesome. <laughs> 